What is up guys, this is Zach and Sam here with Dream Media Home Theater and today we are going to be installing a frame TV over this fireplace. This is an older home down here in Fort Worth, Texas and there is no wiring in place. What we're going to be doing is installing an outlet that is over here and moving it over into the cabinet so that the customer can plug in the one connect box there and the outlet that's actually up top here is going to go away. I know that seems kind of weird because normally we install power outlets above the TV, not with this model. All the power is transferred through the fiber cable, so we're also going to try to fish that fiber cable through the wall down to the cabinet so that there's nothing showing. Don't know how it's going to turn out. Older home. Wish us luck. <laughs> we'll let you know how it goes. Thanks for watching. This is an outlet tracer. We yep. can figure out exactly where this power is going to, oh, and we can kill that breaker so that we can freely and quickly, you know, move our power through all these studs over to the cabinet. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this traced out. Check it out. Sam is taking <laughs> care of business right now, guys. Uh, Look at all these there. holes. We're, we're destroying stuff over here. <laughs> Anyways, we're moving on to uh, cutting our hole in the side of the cabinet. All right, now that all the hard work is done, we just get to fish our lines all the way through. From one hole to the next. Man, this one is giving us a run for our money. <laughs> yes, we just sir. wanted to shoot the wiring from here down to there. Not happening. So we're shooting the wiring from here to there, to there, to there. And then we got our outlet in uh, over there. So, you know, all things considered, it's coming right along. Uh, short of remodeling this entire wall, this is going to be the best situation. But this wire is clear, so it shouldn't look too bad. Okay guys, so these Samsung frame TVs are a proprietary mount and they actually have this little back piece that pulls off and the reason it's able to sit flush mount, like completely flush, is because the mount is specifically designed to be inset in this little groove here. So what I'm going to be doing is taking this part of the bracket right here and I'm going to be screwing it into this hole like so and you can see now it's still sitting flush it's a really cool design the samsung's come up with and nobody else is doing it yet um so they kind of had the the industry on this front and it's really affordable so a cool product we do have this particular product with a guaranteed low price and nationwide free shipping just got to throw that in there. We make our money on sales. Um, but anyways, back to the install. Um, this particular product does also have tilt, which is cool. Not that you're going to use it because you want that art look, but it is an option. So next thing we're going to do is mount the actual bracket to the wall and then this will hang on it. Okay. So next thing we're going to do is mount this bracket here for the no gap to the wall, like so. Now, it's important that you hit two studs when mounting this, and you can see we did mount, mark out a stud here and a stud here. So, we're gonna use the supplied driver bolts that they include. These two, these right here, they have flat heads on them. That way, the TV stays flush. Make sure it goes straight in. Okay, so. Center and level that is important. So what we're going to do, because we can't hit this stud, is put in a 100 pound drywall anchor. That's our policy. One stud, 100 pound drywall anchor, or two studs. Mandatory. So I'm going to go grab those. Now it is done. <laughs> 
Uh, we got everything sawed, mounted into studs and anchors. Now we're gonna go ahead and throw the TV up there, the fun part. <laughs> there, there it is. is. Okay, so the last part of this, after you clean everything up, is just connecting up the one connect box. Um, you can see we do have the wiring going out of the fireplace right here, and he's going to have that repaired and then painted. This is the only thing that's showing, and that's just because there's brick right here all the way through, and we literally couldn't get it. So it's, it's going from here to there, out of here, and then back behind, and we're going to put the connect box down here where a new outlet is, and then all of this will be repaired. A lot of work, but it's turning out nice. All right, guys, check it out. Everything turned out wonderfully. The customer is happy. I'm happy. All things considered, I think it turned out, you know, great. Yeah. Uh, TV looks really sharp up here above the fireplace, like a piece of art. Um, I'll show you a little close up of exactly what it looks like from the sides. All of our wiring is coming out right here, fish down to the bottom, and then the connect one box is down below. Um, we coiled up all the wires, made it look really good for the customer. You can see it does actually sit flush. We had to remove the power outlet and cap off the wires to make it look like this. A little pro tip. If not, you're going to get a gap. Not like the advertisement. Right here, the wall actually has a little bit of a bend to it. So there's a tiny little gap, but it still looks really sharp. Wiring comes out there. Fish down all the way through. You can't even see it down to the bottom, and that's where our One Connect box is in our nice up to city code power outlet. And then the customer is gonna get all these holes repaired. All right, well that's a wrap. I hope you guys liked this video and found it informative, help you and your road to a frame TV. If you would like to purchase a frame TV, we do have nationwide free shipping and a low price guarantee on this product. So make sure to give us a call, shoot us an email or text. If you like this video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more. This is Zach Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.